And folks, there are many more words in the chapter, but I'm telling you right now, the stuff that I'm giving you is the likeliest stuff that will be on the exam, okay? If, if there's going to be questions about human relations, I'll explain to you a little bit. Of, there, there's going to be questions of human relations for sure. The, the question is how many and in what context. So the exam is broken down into five sections. You will never see them. But from these five sections of the line of questions that they can ask you, they're going to be thrown around in between 150 different questions. Okay. And if they're going to be stuff over here, these are going to be the most likeliest ones that are going to be on the exam. Okay. So here's the next word I wanted you to have, and that would be the word coaching. What is coaching? Guys, I, I beg your indulgence. I'm feeling a little bit cranky still. Let me just fill my cup with some hot water, and I'll be right back with you, okay? Please forgive me. I'll be right, right with you. Made it. Coaching. <laughs> Coaching is quite interesting. Okay? So, when you think of coaching, I don't know, maybe you think of, uh, of uh, I don't know, Bill Belichick. I don't know what comes up when you see uh, coaching. Okay? But coaching is the same no matter where you are. In every family, there's a Bill Belichick. Okay? Um, how do coaches get people to do the right thing and how do coaches get their players to stop doing the wrong things any thoughts they're doing a lot of practice okay but you know for example uh i i'm not a big fan of organized sports. I mean, I, I have heard of Bill Belichick because I live in Boston and every other word here is Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, whatever. Um, but uh, I know, for example, that the, there, there was a really good football player, uh, Antonio Brown, who went with Tom Brady and they worked, they, they played in uh, Buccaneers. Now, Antonio Brown is a fantastic football player, but he is a uh, uh, mental case. So that didn't stop him. He was participating in, in all the practices, right? In the end, you know, he did something stupid and he got booted out from the NFL, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. So practice doesn't necessarily make someone do good things and stop doing bad things. Okay? What makes people conditioned to do good things and conditioned not to do bad things? Like, for example, I really want to get myself a Rolex but I can't afford a Rolex. So I'm passing by this jewelry store and uh, I see a Rolex in, in the window. I'm gonna go in there and say, hey, can I see that Rolex? Okay, may I try it on? Yeah. And 
what I really want to do is I really want to bolt out that door with that Rolex on my wrist. But I notice out of a corner of my eye that there's a big guy with a gun next to the door. But I really want that Rolex. What's stopping me from running out uh, of that store with that Rolex? The guy with the gun? Uh-huh. Not really the guy with a gun, but actually the fear of what he might do with that gun to me. Uh, what makes me do good things for most people? Why do people want to do good things? Sometimes they, they do it because they don't want to get in trouble. Sometimes most people think it's the right thing to do. Well, what makes something right? What makes something wrong? By the way, it's a very interesting question. Uh, you, you know, what makes something right? What makes something How do we know that something is right and something is wrong? Because what, at some uh, point earlier, someone taught you right from wrong. Where did they get that? Where did it come from? Their own pattern because they learned from somebody else. Yes, but you know, it had to start from somewhere. From family, from like other and the mother. For okay. your children. Where where did that come from? See, I I'm 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 asking you an interesting question because there are you know, interesting words that we talk about uh, here in this class, uh, like words like moral, legal, ethical, you know, we, we'll talk about that, you know, but uh, the question is, where do these ideas of good come from and what makes people want to do good things because it feels right? Your yeah, instinct. Instinct, you know, I got to tell you, there are so many instincts in so many different places. You know, you can go to some parts of the world where instinct tells you to kill your enemy and eat their liver. You know, there are places in the world like that. And these are normal people. But over here, living in the United States, you think that running after somebody, killing them and eating their liver or their heart is crazy. And we would put that person in electric chair. But in some parts of the world, that person. I could think there is a law. A law, and then where does you that? You have come to follow from? the uh, good, which is good, which is bad. You see, you know, we're 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 going into this interesting into this interesting part, right? Law, but what people are missing out is that the reason why people want to do good things. You really want to know the answer? I'll tell you, because they want to they go don't to want to heaven, or they don't want to go to prison. They want to go to heaven. <laughs> People want to do good things because they want to go to heaven and they don't want to go to hell. Whatever, you, whatever your concept of this idea is, there are two possibilities. If you do sure. things in this world, you will go to heaven. If you do bad things in this world, you are most certainly going to go to hell. And we don't want that because down there, they say it's very hot. There's this guy dressed all in black, uh, in, in, in red. He's got horns. He's got a pitchfork. And you're going to be there for eternity. Ha! Damnation. Not everybody believes in that. I know. I know that not everybody believes it. I know. But most people in this world do. That is true. So whether you believe in one thing, whether you believe in the other, otherwise there is absolutely no reason to know what's wrong and what's right. And certainly no reason to do anything good except for yourself. Okay. So we're back to the word coaching. How do we get people to start doing good things? and to stop doing bad things. Well, the example is always clear with little kids. 
If they do something good, you give them candy. If they do something bad, you put them into timeout. And that is something, that is something that is uh, true throughout your life. And in professional workplaces, your managers are supposed to provide you coaching. Coaching simply means rewarding good behavior and punishing bad behavior. And hopefully, unless you are completely and totally out to lunch, uh, you're going to continue doing bad things, you're going to get fired. So coaching is, then check this out, positive or negative feedback, positive or negative feedback to do what? It's used. To do what? What is it used to do what? Mm -hmm. It's used to encourage or discourage some type of behavior. There. <coughs> 